In this still image, the autopilot is on, the airplane had been vectored to a 14-mile-long final approach, and through a sequence of speed and configuration changes, the flight had diverged well above the desired glide path and was descending too slowly. As the animation begins, the landing gear was extended, and the pilot monitoring remarked that they were a little high. The pilot flying said he would descend more and selected 1,500 feet per minute descent rate in the autopilot. As you can see in the profile view, this did begin to bring the airplane back toward the desired glide path. However, about six miles from the runway, the selected descent rate was set back to 1,000 feet per minute. The airplane was still well above the desired glide path. The selected altitude was changed to 3,000 feet to prepare the autopilot in case a go-around was needed. The airplane passed the five-mile point near the final approach fix about 400 feet higher than desired, and the crew began slowing the airplane. The pilot flying called for flaps 30, but the pilot monitoring noted they were still a little too fast for flaps 30. The pilot flying switched the autopilot to flight level change mode, which did not help with the descent and resulted in the airplane initiating a climb to the 3,000 foot altitude that was previously set. To prevent the climb, the pilot disconnected the autopilot and retarded the thrust levers to idle, this resulted in the autothrottle transitioning to hold mode. In hold mode, the autothrottle does not control airspeed. Descent rate increased to about 1,500 feet per minute, and the observer pilot noted sink rate. About 1.4 miles from the runway, the airplane descended through the desired glide path and slowed through the target approach speed. The pitch attitude steadily increased as the pilot pulled back on the column in an effort to maintain the glide path. The airplane was well below glide path, and airspeed was 15 knots below the desired approach speed and rapidly dropping. 11 seconds before impact, an audible alert sounded because the airspeed was too low. Four seconds later, the pilot monitoring advanced the thrust levers, followed by stick shaker activation and a verbal call to go around. These actions were too late, and the main gear and the underside of the aft fuselage struck the seawall.